only two weeks into the new year and it's already raining drama just in case you didn't get the chance to follow up on the biggest stories of the week pulse weekly recap has got you covered my name is rachel mm isaac let's get to it Ama founder Peace Anyam Osigwe passed away. Nigerian filmmaker and founder of the prestigious African Movie Academy Awards Ama, Peace Anyam Osigwe, was announced dead on Tuesday, January 10, 2023. Confirming the unfortunate incident, her family released a statement. However, the cause of her death wasn't revealed. According to reports, Anyam Osigwe, who was also the president of the Association of Movie Producers, was in a coma before she passed away at St. Nicholas hospital in Lagos State. I am a treason. I am a treason. Who are you? Baby Ninja's Chi Chi got dragged for claiming she's 23 years old. Former Baby Ninja housemate Desire Okebo, popularly known as Chi Chi, earned herself heavy social media backlash on Tuesday, January 10, 2023, after sharing a birthday post stating that she is 23 years old. Following the post, Nigerians went on to dig up the reality TV star's throwback pictures, claiming that she's over 40 years old and lying about her age. The photos which are from the years 23 13 and 2014 do not present her as a teenager hence the bashing from nigerians on twitter to hell with it now to hell with it over 8,000 nigerians signed a petition to prevent brimo from winning at the eighth edition of afrima during the week, over 8,000 people called for the disqualification of Olawale Oloforo, professionally known as Brimo, from the 8th All African Music Awards, Afrima, over his contentious remarks about the Igbo community. Recall that the singer was called out a few days ago over a series of tweets where he insinuated that the Igbos aren't right for the presidency. According to the petition, not receiving the award will send the singer a clear message considering his recent and derogatory statements against the Igbo people. Nine Ansar's protesters were released after two years in prison. On Tuesday, January 10, 2023, nine protesters who took part in the 2020 Ansar's demonstrations against police brutality were finally released. The protesters had been held since October 2020 without trial after they were arrested during the nationwide protests against the Special anti robbery Squad, the SARS unit of the Nigerian police. Their clemency was part of the state authorities three-day tour to the state prisons in a bid to decongest them. Doi Okupe got released after an accidental arrest by the EFCC. The former Director General of the Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council, Doi Okupe, on Thursday, January 12, 2023, revealed that he had been released by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, in Lagos. Okupe was arrested in the early hours of Thursday at the Murtala Mohammed International Airport on his way to London by Department of State Services. DSS. He was asked to provide court processes where he paid the fine option following his money laundering conviction, after which he was handed over to the EFCC. However, in a tweet a few hours later, Okupe revealed that he had been arrested in error and released with an apology from the EFCC. And it's a wrap, guys. Don't stop viewing, sharing, and liking our content. Until next time, bye.